What's good, y'all? So I'm about to break down the sample. I just did it, but I forgot to press record on OBS. But yeah, let's get straight to it. So I start off in contact with the acoustic uh, section inside of the factory library number two. And I went with the Celesta preset right here. And I made this pattern with it. And it's just a C minor chord. So I start off with a C minor, these three notes right here. But I removed the middle note and I pitched up the G one octave right here. After that, I just made some some extra notes here for some bounce just following my ear nothing crazy uh, so after i had this pattern i just repeated it for every other bar right here right here and right here and just to add some extra bounce i took the c minor chord these two over here and pitched it down five semitones one two three four five so i kept the g in place and i moved the d out here uh, so we got a new chord here, uh, the G minor, and it ju just adds some extra bounce and some extra variation to the sample and something happens before this hits at every other bar. So here's what the pattern sounds like. So yeah, it's a pretty bad pattern. It sounds not so good, but I still wanted to try it out and add some effects to it and see if it could sound good. Uh, so I stuck with it and I went to the mixture right here. So I start off with a portal and I went with the alien experiment inside of the grain experiments bank right here. And I also automated the mix knob right here. I'm gonna show you the automation in a second. After that, I pitched down the sample three semitones with a sound shifter. And then I added a reverb from Arturia, reverb intensity. And finally, I added a soothe just to clean up the hard frequencies a little bit right here with the depth turned up to 3.1 put this in here so it's the first pattern together with the portal automation and all the other effects So it's, it's a little bit better, but it still sounds kind of weird. And after that, I don't know what I did to it, but right here, all of a sudden it sounds better. I think I just pitched it up with a sound shifter, but I've lost like the sound shifter inside of the mixer up here. But I think I pitched it up a couple semitones and now it sounds like this. So yeah, I think that sounds better and uh, that's the sample that is used inside of the whole loop and after that I went to Omnisphere and I went to the Casio breath pad inside of the unclean machine expansion by sonic extensions and uh, yeah so I went with the Casio breath I went with the third preset right here and I just made some chords it's the same it's a, just the first chord of the bell melody right here so if we look here it's pretty much the same notes so it's basically the C minor again, but yeah, here's what it sounds like. So just to fill up some frequencies and add some nice textures and some nice sounds to the sample in the background, nothing crazy. The effects is the reverb, same reverb. So if you want to know how to copy paste your reverbs, just go in here, click this little arrow, go down here, save preset as, and then you can drag it onto whichever mixer track you want it on. So I'm gonna put it on 12. Now you got the same reverb, same effects, everything on a different mixer channel. Yeah, so I added the reverb and then I also added an EQ to cut the low frequencies right here. So that's pretty much it for the pad. After that, I went back to Omnisphere and I went to the same expansion pack, the Unclean Machine. And I went to the Dusty Guitar at 1 preset and I went with the 5th selection of it right here. And I made another layered pattern with it. So it's a C minor chord and the G minor chord without the middle notes. But I moved the top notes right here to the side. Two, three, three, two steps to the side right here. And here's what it sounds like. You know, just a minor layering uh, for the effects. I just added a delay for some extra rhythm and a, a EQ right here to cut the low frequencies. So that's that. We got two layering things right here. And then I also added a bass. Also from Omnisphere, it's a Bobo's deep bass from the Moog Tribute Library. And the same thing again, just following the root notes C to G, then C to G, and then I chopped it off in half and pitched up one octave just for some extra bounce. So now I'm gonna play you all these layering things together the main melody, the pad, the dusty guitarette, and the bass. So 
after I had these four melodies, they are like pretty much uh, the f they're kind of like the foundation of the sample they repeat throughout the whole sample as you can see and then i added some counter melodies here and there for some variation so we got this this serum here another serum here and a third serum here so the first serum is the lead future preset inside of the alpha sound kit right here and the piano roll or like the grid is in one thirds instead of one fourth so if i press one third right here you can see they are on grid now and uh, yeah i'm gonna just play the midi So I don't usually do this with leads, but I, as you can see, they're like plucky, they're short. So I didn't make them long. I made them short because I don't know, it was just a weird, nice bounce. And I just, uh, you know, followed my ears, start off at the root note and then went down here and then back up. I made a repetitive melody that was catchy. And then at the end right here, I just made two long notes for the variation and, you know, to make it a little bit more interesting. So yeah, that's that's the MIDI and the effects. I start off with the portal again. I went with the fraud preset right here instead of the Distra 2 bank. Didn't do any automation on it, just kept it as it is. And an EQ took out some of the harsh high frequencies, took out the lows, and then another delay, a delay slightly bumping preset. But I changed uh, the like syncing thing to one thirds. I think it is one thirds. It sounds like one thirds. Yeah, so here's what it sounds like with the effects on. And then I also, for the second counter melody over here, it's the same preset and the same effects, but I made this pattern with it instead. So I was just having fun with the man starting up with the root note, making some weird melodies up and down, something catchy, but here's the pattern. And then over here, we got another serum, which is this pattern right here. And it's just, it's also a lead, but it's kind of weird. So it's a lead matrix inside of the serum collection volume three and it's just a c minor chord without the root note and then a c minor with the middle note but it doesn't play like a chord it's more like a sliding thing going on so i'm gonna just show you what it sounds like so that's the pattern and the effects is i added a lot of stuff to this i start off with the soothe just to clean up the harsh frequencies then an eq to cut these frequencies right here and then an imager to make it a little bit wider I turned up this width thing right here after that i added a reverb valhalla vintage and 40 percent mix right here and then i added a decapitator for some distortion and then a echo boy to add some bounce to the lead and then a pan man to make the lead bounce a little bit from left to right so here's what the pattern sounds like with the effects on but yeah that's pretty much it for the sample i'm gonna play it for you right now <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and yeah i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video